is the white drawing room. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Beautiful cabinet here, wonderful bars, gold candlesticks there, absolutely lovely. But if I just rather gently pull on this, you will see, I tell you, it takes a bit of muscle. The Queen must have more muscles than you realise. Um, if you pull this open, you can see that actually behind this, there is a secret passage leading to the Queen's private apartments. Now, Anna, you're in charge of the Royal Collection here, aren't you? Why would the Queen need a secret door? Well, this is the way to the Queen's apartments, and of often when the Queen's meeting guests, they're uh, uh, lined up in here in the music, the music room for her to meet. And so they get ready to meet her, and it allows her to make an entrance without having to walk through all the different palace rooms. Mm. Well, it's a wonderful... Why, why shouldn't she have a shortcut? I think I'd build one if I could, if I had a palace. Now, this room is beautiful. Just take a little look around. Some of the most amazing bits of it are the chandeliers. Absolutely spectacular. I bet it takes some cleaning, though, doesn't it, Anna? Yeah, it does. So the chandeliers now are obviously electric, but in the 19th century, they had candles in, and they'd get particularly sooty. And in the 19th century, they used stale bread to clean the chandeliers, to clean the wow. lead glass. And they don't now. They lower the chandeliers and they use jets of water. They have a kind of upturned umbrella and they shoot the jets of water out to clean them. Um, but yeah, it takes some upkeep, and each one has to be cleaned, obviously, individually. It is amazing. And this, every single room has a slightly different feel, all of them majestic. This one um, is, is so pale and light. Was that a conscious decision of the designer, to have everything with a slightly different feel? Yeah, and obviously the name of this room is the white drawing room, reflecting the colours mm. of the upholstery and the decor in here. And then we have the blue drawing room, which has blue silk upholstery. So, yeah, it just differentiates the rooms, makes each one special and unique. And the gold, is it real gold? It's gilded, yes, yeah. so layers wow. of real gold. Um, very, very thin layers of gold that are put on by our gilding conservators. It must be a fascinating job you have. I mean, I feel like I want to spend as long as I can here just finding out more and more and more. Does it, do you ever feel like you get to an end of what you know? Do you get surprised every day? Um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. There are over a million objects in the Royal Collection, so mm. there's always something new to find out about. 8,000 paintings. So, you know, everywhere you look, there's, there's beautiful, amazing historic objects. And the paintings are from very famous artists as well, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. So the paintings were collected by the various different monarchs. So we have paintings by Rembrandt, Rubens, Vermeer, Van Dyck, literally every big name from um, art history lessons, you'd find them here. What's the question that people ask you when they, you tell them what they, you do? Oh, just what's it like to work at the palace? Have you met the Queen? <laughs> that kind of thing, yeah. And have you? Yes. Was she yeah. nice? Yeah, she's always very nice. You see how nice and is. They don't want to reveal <laughs> everything. They don't want to give away anything private, anything like that. Well, I don't blame you. It's a wonderful, wonderful room you have here. You do a brilliant job. So what do you do then? What are you in charge of? Um, I look after the um, delivery of the hospitality operation within the household. Yeah. Um, and that can range from anything from providing a cup of coffee to a state banquet delivery um, to a garden party for 8,000 people. 